Hi, I'm doing a short video here to introduce you to the Omni Square. It's called Omni because it combines the functions of so many types of squares. First, it folds up and stores very compact in your tool bags or toolbox like this. Just flip the blade out and click it in at 90 degrees for use as your basic tri-square. When framing, I've always liked to square with a one and a half inch blade like this for laying out studs. You can quickly and easily mark both sides of a stud's location so it's very clear as to where each stud goes. Now the blade also clicks in at 45 degrees both to the left and to the right of 90 and it continues all the way around like that. For all of these settings there is no need to tighten the knob to lock the blade as it clicks in and holds the setting really well. Now it's also a bevel square. You can set it at any degree angle you want. Bevel squares are great for determining unusual angles when doing molding or trim work or for copying and transferring odd angles. I'll copy the angle on the end of this board and then I scribe my line. On the back here it also gives you a readout of the degree of your angle. This allows you to read out the angle you just copied or to set it at any predetermined angle between 0 and 90 degrees. In using the Omni Square as a bevel square you will notice that when you try to set it at an angle near 90 degrees it just clicks back into 90. It's the same thing at 45. In these cases, just flip the blade around to the other end, which allows you to get those near 90 and near 45 degree angles. The bottom line on this is that the Omni Square will set at any degree angle using one end or the other. The next setting it has is as a combination square. The combination square is a great square. You can slide the blade to any depth setting and it maintains 90 degrees. If I want to rip a board at say 2 inches, I set the blade at 2 inches on the lower scale. And I scribe my line. They're also used for laying out any repetitive depth setting, like hole or screw locations. You'll find many uses for the combination square setting. An interesting setting also is as a T-square. Just set the blade anywhere midway like this and flip it over. I often keep it like this when I'm mainly just marking 90 degree angles. Also in this setting you can let go of it and it won't fall off of your workpiece. Another thing the Omni Square does is draw circles up to 12 inches in diameter. Say I need to cut out an 8 inch hole. I turn the blade like this and using the lower scale I line up 4 inches with the center of the screw. And then I snug up the knob. Then using the screw end as an axis I draw my circle. Now always before readjusting the blade ensure that the knob is fully loosened all the way up to and in contact with the lock nut. Don't go cranking on it and cause the lock nut to turn. It's just finger tight. As I said earlier, I never use the knob for the 90 or the 45 degree settings. And I usually don't even use it for the quick bevel or the combination square settings either. But it is there to more rigidly fix the location of the blade if you're going to make a lot of repetitive markings at that setting. Now the blade and the stock are anodized aluminum. 
and the fasteners are stainless steel so there is nothing to rust. The inch markings are die cut and then they're highlighted with an enamel paint. It is accurate, it's quality made in the USA and it has a patent pending. So the Omni Square is a 90 degree tri-square. It's a 45 and a 135 degree square. It's a bevel square with angled degree readout. It's a combination square. It's a T-square. It draws circles up to 12 inches and it folds for safe compact storage. It is both more compact than any other square and it has more uses than any other square I've seen. The Omni Square is for the handyman, the do-it-yourselfer, or the professional in any trade from framing to finish, wood to metal. It will save you time, money, and the frustration of not having the correct tool to do your job readily at hand in your tool bags or toolbox. Thank you for watching.